Hello and welcome to my Keto Kitchen. I'm Victoria. Today we are going to make Keto Cornbread. So many people have asked me about this and you decide if you think it's the best Keto Cornbread that you've ever had. So let's get started. I want to start off with wet ingredients so that the dry ingredients don't stick to the bowl as much. The first thing that we need, this is three quarters of a cup of water and one quarter of a cup of heavy whipping cream. This is how I like to change out milk for keto milk without having to buy all the other milks. I just do one part heavy cream and three parts water. So three fourths of a cup of water and one quarter of a cup of heavy cream. Next we have one third cup of melted butter, one egg, that is it with the wet ingredients. Now we'll do dry. We need one teaspoon of salt. We need one quarter of a cup of allulose. We need one tablespoon of sweet corn extract. Now, this right here is what's going to make this completely different taste, unlike any keto corn bread that you've ever had. Right here, I have one cup of my cakes and cookies all-purpose flour. And right here, I have one cup of my breadcrumbs. Now the breadcrumbs should create the, the texture of a cornbread, but I want to also use my flour. So we have one cup of my cakes and cookies flour, and now one cup of my keto breadcrumbs. I'm going to put on the attachment, and let's see what happens. is it. It is fully mixed up. Now I have a square pan right here. I am going to pour all of the mixture in. I am going to smooth this out. It definitely smells like corn. Let me give you a close-up of the batter. So I am going to put this in my oven at 400 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. I'll be watching and I'll let you know exactly how long it took to bake us some keto cornbread. This was super easy. Be right back. And look what we have. We have keto cornbread. Now this was in there for 22 minutes. I took it out at 22 minutes, so it looks fully cooked. Now we have to taste it, which is my favorite part. I am going to cut into this. It's still hot. I'm getting the paper. I have a piece of parchment paper on the bottom. Before I taste it, I have to give you a close-up. Look at the texture. Okay, it is time to taste it. It absolutely 100% smells like cornbread. My whole house smells like corn right now. Okay. This is better than regular cornbread. This is amazing. Way to go with the sweet corn extract. That stuff is what you need to make cornbread. This is fantastic. Oh, I can't eat all of this because next on my list is to make my great grandmother's dressing. And in that recipe, I need cornbread. And that's why I made this, so this is kind of a series. This is cornbread, and coming later is cream of chicken soup, because we gotta make a keto, and then dressing. This was absolutely delicious. I would love to have some type of country keto soup to dip this in. Th amazing. I have to stop eating it. I have to save it. 
And any recipe that calls for like the box of Jiffy cornbread, this is the amount that you need for the box of Jiffy cornbread. If it tells you in your recipe you need that, what you've got to do is you just have to make this and then let it cool completely, then use it for your recipe. That's how we do it around here on Victoria's Keto Kitchen. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you make this, please leave a comment down below. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I post every Tuesday and Friday, and you have a blessed day.